Good afternoon, my name is Supreme Apostle Pahak Shaiba. I'm Supreme Apostle of Supreme of Jesus Christ in the Church of Jesus Christ of Little Lake Saints, sitting in Salt Lake City, in Utah, in the U.S. President Thomas Spencer Monzon is announced President of the First President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Little Lake Saints. I, Supreme Apostle Pahak Shaiba, am working on a project According to the project that I said, Apostle Bajio was working on, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are supposed to be translated to heaven's God and ascend to heaven. In these eight years of this century, so a background about the project, we are planning to ascend to heaven uh, about now, and we made this video because we realized that if we apply in a church, there is uh, seemingly opposition or quite great opposition to that. And we would like to uh, explain a change. So I was planning to ascend to heaven. I was sharing with bishops and archbishops and residents of the church. And so all together was seemingly against the plan of ascension in this time. And as I was trying to do petition that I might have some more friends uh, to help me to ascend to heaven, the petition was also stopped. And even state president personally was asking that I do not petition, uh, at least in the church state center. The state president uh, was becoming anti Christ. So some atheists and was uh, saying that he doesn't believe in Jesus Christ anymore and his name is President Alan Phillips of High Park State of Science. This broadcast is from uh, uh, Oxford Circus in London, Royal Capital of England, London from Regent Street via an Apple Store. And what we are working on is a plan of project by the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that is supposed to ascend to heaven at about this time. And we met quite a position also by Mr. President, also by some President. And we actually would like to have a uh, change. We would like to have the idea that the general authorities and general officers of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are ready to reorganize the, the local uh, leadership. Uh, the general authorities and officers will permit us over to the U.S. Uh, where maybe uh, the motion of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to translate them to ascend to heaven in these 10 years of the century may finally be welcome. So we were studying some of the church. So I was a member in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The CM first of October confirmed in 2000. And that was exactly at the same morning as the United States of America President Gordon Richard Hinckley was dedicating Massachusetts Boston Temple in Cambridge, Massachusetts. There is a temple, it's a very beautiful temple. It's quite similar to the Preston Temple that was dedicated maybe somewhat earlier around Chicago, where was the dedication of the Preston Temple with Preston MTC. Then in the 1st of October 2000, uh, the Massachusetts Boston the Massachusetts Temple in Cambridge was dedicated, and it was the same morning as I saw the Apostle Bakshi, who was a part member in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I was born until the Supreme of Jesus Christ of Supreme of Supreme Yahweh. Uh, my parents, they was granted me at my birth on uh, the 19th of September 1979, and uh, they was actually. Uh, so that the father, as parent, was uh, uh, reportedly not at that time a member, but the mother was a member of Relief Society, and formerly she was also a member of primary, and uh, she was also a member of young women, which is Jesus Christ of other things, and her mother also a Relief Society member. And prior to my birth, the genealogy of my mother's side was accomplished in the temple, so from the I have three weddings. I myself personally organized three weddings in the temple. 
and uh, I hope to be translated now to the story. So I said to heaven, so I hope they are uh, super close to me. I will send an escort from heaven, but might the angels, they are snakes with the thunder is rushing with the waters, and they will take me. Now escort me out of this building and I'll take me straight away from Regent Street to highest heaven, where I may from now on serve and for all eternity in highest heaven. Supernal presence also belongs to the Catholic. So that's what we don't hope. So you might witness on this video such a glorious happening if it will be permitted to be uploaded. Um, we have here also with the option that uh, those who are not members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints will find attractive uh, in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. There are some uh, disciples of Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, and there are supernal, super disciples of Supreme Lord Jesus Christ that would like now to ascend to heaven. Um, that's much better as the plan of Gordon Pennickley that ended in Salt Lake Center or Francis Beverly Johnson Lamont Zone also was reported the dead in 2013. We are now in 2014 and we have Easter Monday that's um, Easter Monday that's 21st of April 2014. And by now, essentially, have what can help us. So we may classify, we may judge, but we shall not condemn anyone as President Mozart or as President Gordon Hennigley or as other presidents of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, but they will condemn themselves. They are not. In a booklet of the First President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, True to the Faith, and there is a capital about judgment, a chapter, a chapter about judgment. Um, we can learn, especially in the terrorists uh, of Mormons and Nazis of Malta, uh, in Utah, Utah Nazis, in the United States of America, we have here uh, several uh, military bases of the United States of America in the European Union. So, as military bases of the United States of America from Afghanistan, or literally from Iraq, uh, they are eventually already in the drone. But in the European Union, in North Atlantic Space Organization, and when we have American forces and in continental European Union, we have also British forces uh, uh, organizing this terror of Mormons of not Utah Nazis land. Um, Utah Mormons, they actually getting uh, millionaires and billionaires. And European members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Saints, except they are um, sort of agreeing with the terror they had. Uh, Mormon Nazis or Mormon fanaticers that does here in Europe, I, I personally just have as much of wealth as I would like to. So, um, first of all, for this ascension to heaven, that's true. But then I'm speaking about what comfort we have here. So, as we remember, uh, Jesus Christ, he was very comfortably housed, especially in winter. In summer, in the houses, there was maybe also comfort. Maybe there was some food water. Uh, so they had their not too hot in house, in sorts of shed. Um, otherwise, uh, Jesus Christ had perfect comfort also outside. They had in such places like Canyon, Perea, or maybe there was some sort of forest where wind was blowing and there was a shadow and trees. Which is good fun. Um, Jesus was very comfortably housed, or very comfortably uh, treated by his uh, numerable hosts. There was quite a billion of disciples of Jesus Christ, not only trillions or billions, but quite a billion. So, how can we uh, therefore believe the uh, word the that, uh, that is recorded in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, that uh, Supreme Lord and Supreme Yahweh are saving thousands? I think there is surely thousands of trillions, so maybe thousands and thousands and thousands until it is quite trillions of disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, as it is in heaven. In the book of Exodus, we can see we already are in the 21st century and we're planning ascension of heaven. Not only one Moses or one Elia or one of the Old Testament or one Jesus Christ, we now are planning that we might have ascension into the presence of the Supreme Lord and Supreme Lord and Supreme Lord and Supreme Lord. And Yahweh. Um, much greater host of Israel. We counted uh, maybe 144,000 of uh, Israel to ascend to heaven. Some that only all people that are over 18, some that also 70 years and 60 years of age may ascend 
to also 70 or so, 80 years of age, also 300 years of age, that is maybe me, also 400 is maybe me, and essentially together. So I think thousand years of age, a thousand summers of age, but also also and also those of using the years of age or younger can ascend to heaven if they are healed, if their parents are standing and they are with children and they are like with their parents, they can ascend in heaven. It's much more beautiful as you on earth. So everything that you see on earth is beautiful and glitter uh, because the children have such a beautiful commission by the governors of the country and by the church members of the society. The mission to see everything in the sense of heaven view. Everything is great and beautiful, and uh, people are welcome. Um, um, that the children mainly are welcome to like see the many places that are exciting. So in heaven it is much better, much more glorious. Um, men are not having all of such a uh, light pink color, but uh, men are absolutely white there. So there are no more men. Or if they would like to be named men, but they are the most glorious men. Uh, and the glory and the shine of people in heaven is exceeding the shine of the sunshine. And no time, so it's really glorious. Now, sometimes if the sunshine is not very safe, they were placing on the hats or dress, or if they was not having any hat or dress, they were maybe anointed with some new wet filter. Um, cream and ornament. So in heaven that is not um, needed because it's not really, um, there's no need of any such new bed filters. Also for eyes, because in heaven it's really glorious to be. So men are white and also benches and not happy. Never wish to ascend. So we think it was going to help us to get there. So such homelessness. Sometimes uh, love, who is right? So I believe that it's true. Yeah, yeah. So love is helpful. In our language, love is in the Alaska. Is Alaska. Alaska is also one of the member states in the United States of America. So I hear myself, how can we from this military terror of Mormons to uh, the Church of Jesus Christ that is heaven so there is that we have an ascension to heaven? Is it necessary that we need a name of the church? Maybe it can help the Slovak citizens to add to others if they are not American citizens and would like to have comfort in the world and would like to have the quality of the household of heaven here on earth. As we discussed the second time on the heavens and earth, we have an ascension to heaven. Then we also maybe quality house or any rotation. Happier I was in flat, but uh, not happy I was in house. Or happier I was in basement, but next happier I was accepted to the top floor, and maybe then another happier I was uh, just one below top floor, and then next happier I was actually two floors before top floor until a few some years I was in basement, but after half year I was again top floor. There might be possible the uh, at least uh, at least once per ten years per ten years they uh, might be counted if it's possible or ten years for ten years and then men can be in the house. Jesus Christ had houses he was born, so all those lies of Mormon they are Jesus Christ was homeless as he was born are not true. Jesus Christ also had extremely many houses as he was uh, already on his mission after baptism and he was fasting and they was helping him actually great house, numerous halls of profession experts. If Jesus Christ was accepted that hell or not, it is glorious to have so many offers there. And there were good people expecting uh, Jesus Christ to visit him and Jesus Christ to feed them for a bit. If anybody think that Jews could not be good in Israel because Jesus was there, <laughs> so uh, they could not be good. It's not true because Jesus has great power and might in heaven and on earth because of his privilege, close relation uh, to Super Milahan and Super Yahweh, which is Christ. We truly have a good truth, so it was really delightsome to live with you. And Jesus Christ could miss him, so what he wanted as a great king, and anything was fulfilled. Even Romans and Greeks were turning exceedingly good in the presence of Jesus. And as much as Jesus had really heaven to earth, as in heaven, if he wanted. But of course, Jesus Christ wanted to be crucified, 
a multi-genetic poisoning Jesus just said, and uh, it was checked if he really wanted or if it was only a spelling mistake, and uh, it just said had what he wanted. So if you want heaven to have heaven, heaven nothing to have heaven, heaven nothing to have and if Jesus wants the water to bring any other atonement, like that it was not enough to bring people by word or by action, but Jesus Christ just wants to get rid of all these uh, options to be good, and was just uh, to, uh, was by himself, by his power of God, and um, was saying that that is a song <laughs> that was also given to Jesus. And whatsoever Jesus wanted was given to Jesus. Jesus is really uh, infinite and eternal Lord all the time. So if Jesus Christ wants to have celebrations and the kingdom of heaven and earth and have an ascension to heaven, he had that. And if he wanted to have some sort of partisan war and then um, to be sort of a secret kind leader of partisan war, and then if he wanted to crucify him, and then for us that, like uh, contention with mankind, Jesus had also that if he wanted. So uh, we learn in the Bible that now it is the only option for us to accept the crucifixion of Jesus Christ as the will of Jesus Christ. In before there was really option for Jesus Christ was creating his destiny by his own will. Now we are told that it is no more option for Jesus. But for us there is option. So if Christ the Monster wants to come cut a crucify himself or just kill himself by poison or kill himself anyhow. Like by poisoning other people and so he himself also is uh so dead. So that's uh, We'll be thinking that why Mr. Moses was first of stealing his wife is fullness of the authority of the holy order of Jesus Christ. That's what we need to ask. Does Mr. Moses the fullness of the authority of Jesus Christ? Or what is actually the fullness of the authority of Jesus Christ? Is it a military power? Um, or is it an um, influence in the military power? So if Christ Simon doesn't have it, who's got it? The eyes of Rabbi Slavaksei Ivo, Rabbi Ivo, am um, proclaiming um, myself to be a most glorious successor of Super Jesus Christ. What am I having for the uh, public of the United States of America? I have public in America, absolute victory. And the heaven to this is heaven, ascension to heaven. It is possible. Uh, Jesus Christ is giving us the agency. So if we just promise that we will obey Him, that we will be kind to one another, and, and that we will protect also chaste people, that also chaste people might be welcome, and that we will not dictate as the demands of the so many people parts of porno and so many other people to be uh, what potential power see in any other place on uh, porno or together with porno. So that's uh, what the demands of as He was governing. We will say, yeah, there is the agency, let us know what we want, and let us moderate it. We might not have anything too extreme. Let us keep ourselves so that if anybody wants to put professional powers outside of God's matrimony, so let them have their easy return to church, that they might not uh, found themselves in any other consequence of sin. It's much better as this temple of wars of Mormons that they actually uh, proclaiming war against all those that had profession of going outside of the bounds of matrimony and they hunting them to any Afghanistan to any Iraq and killing each other or causing them to be killed there. So we have the presence of Supreme Elohim and Supreme Yahweh. So we need to look forward there. It's, uh, yeah, we need to forgive one another and now it's kind of the subject of a bit of wisdom. So if we wish to be translated to heaven and to ascend to heaven, what is the equivalent for us in the gospel of Jesus Christ? What is the equivalent for us? What do we also learn? What is the most important? Sometimes it is uh, the last supper when Jesus Christ uh, went. When Jesus Christ instituted uh, the sacraments and says to his disciples that they shall eat bread as a symbol of the body of Jesus Christ, a symbol of food, a symbol of whole fruit, or sort of baked fruit, or baked nuts, or baked seeds. So that's, that was what Jesus said, they are a symbol of the body, and they are, if we eat, remember his body. But if we eat remembrance of his body, um, that, that we many promises for us open um, and that our food is forgiven. So they are also the vegan friends. Some say the vegetarian also possible. So let, let us look at also vegetarians forgiven. 
Uh, well, next we have alcohol and wine by those who like to abstain from alcohol for any reasons, like they belong to, to the team of drivers, they will like to have safe driving, or to a team of jealous Mormons. <laughs> They're killing drivers if they drink, if drivers drink alcohol. We need to check in the last 180 years if there was more than killing or who was killing. If it was a killing uh, cooperatives, violation of Mormons. Because Mormons is already such an influence on this climate. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Mormons ever was influencing another cooperative killers as they to get more summer killing people if they drink alcohol and most drivers. So if drivers are not drinking alcohol, they are lucky. If they drink alcohol, we need to ask them to give them, we need to ask for their safe journey. Um, they reach this, uh, this for the destination in safety. I spoke about special and forgiving. So uh, that's what I have for American citizens and for others. They yeah, um, really have heaven's grace in heaven, a sense of heaven. I uh, just if you added a wine or juice or water to the alternative. Uh, to remember the blood of your covenant that it might be forgiven and are sent to heaven. So uh, this is what a wisdom uh, second most important equivalent in a host scriptures to our ascension. How can we learn from host scriptures uh, to ascend to heaven is transfiguration of Jesus Christ. So transfiguration of Jesus Christ you need to understand as approximately in chapter nine in book in the Gospel of the St. Luke, the Evangelist, chapter 9, they're placed together about three main happenings. So first and most important is the transformation of Jesus Christ. Jesus was showing there uh, at that time his eternal glory to Peter, James, and John, and was conversing with two heavens passages that has been classified according to the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke as Moses and Elia. I believe that it was Supreme Elohim and Supreme Yahweh that appeared there. And yeah, as I was reading in the Gospel of St. Luke, the Evangelist, in chapter 9, there was first summer in Sister Philippi getting approximately the foot of the Mount Hanbon. And then Jesus asked the disciples uh, what the people saying about Jesus and who he is. And the correct answer is that Jesus is Supreme Ibrahim and Supreme Yahweh. Two in one, that is one with God. So whoever seen Jesus Christ, the Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, seen also Supreme Ibrahim. Supreme Ibrahim. Uh, and uh, that Jesus Christ is Supreme Yahweh. And that Yahweh that is written about in the two Jesus Christ. But uh, also say the people saying that Jesus or Elohim Yahweh is rather uh, Moses or Elia or Elijah or Elisha or any such prophet. And then Jesus asked uh, what the apostles think that who is or when the apostles think when is Jesus Christ? And I said uh, there was actually a silence Peter said according to uh, the gospel of said Matthew, Mark, and Luke, all Peter said that uh, Jesus is to be interpreted as Messiah, or Messiah, Messiah uh, of God. So that to be interpreted as when is now, that Jesus is here, and that uh, Jesus is really of God. And that was causing Jesus Christ such a mouth feeling that Jesus even said, Blessed are those, uh, Simon, Bariona. Uh, Peter, that was not flesh and blood that revealed that to me, but it was found in the heaven, the supreme evil him, the supreme Yahweh. And unto Peter, therefore, uh, or unto those that say so about Peter, so we say that Peter is really Christ and God, that we might also have some more of authority. And we also stating that uh, residents in the Church of Jesus Christ in level of state, if they are sometimes acting like even Mormon or not, is that they really are anointed Christ or Messiah of God. And that's what we're saying that Jesus is Messiah of God, uh, Peter and those disciples that receive authority by Jesus Christ, also Messiah of God, and also um, those that introduce themselves as even Mormons are also Christ or anointed of God. So that we need to be sure that the Supreme Apostle actually will explain that and it's sustaining also general authority from offices of the Church of Jesus Christ in Lemon State as well as uh, other authorities and offices of the Church of Jesus Christ in Lemon State.
Felicity Heron from the same side as well. And I'm sustaining, who is sustaining? I think I was about to sustain. Now, who is the game? Who do you want to? I actually am um, forgiving. If anybody is uh, against, and for, uh, I'm thinking that it's a uh, man needs to discover himself sometimes in Wamasan, but it's good that they're already participating in world, and they may uh, repent and rest in their uh, games. So we sustain Jesus Christ, the leadership of John, in the church, the disciples of Jesus Christ, also the disciples of Jesus Christ. Now it is coming here that the subject, the white Catholic Church was organized in there, the American Mormons was coming with great militarism, first and second world war, and was attacking the positions of Catholic Church in Germany, in Slovak Republic, in Austria, eventually in Hungary, also together with the Russian Orthodox Church. Right there. Most Catholic Church thinking, or presence of Catholic Church thinking, the Russian Orthodox and American Mormons are better. Uh, we are not sure about the answer. We just remember and we know the Catholic Church did very good work of Christ, and we're sustaining them also. So our lifting of hand was also to them, as they really brought Bible to Joseph Smith. So uh, it was first 100, 200, 300, 400 years since Jesus Christ ascended to heaven, or since Jesus Christ was born. And the Catholic Church also bring Catholics with the uh, Byzantine, and also Roman Catholics. They also bring the Bible for sharing Bible. There was the text of the Bible that they just missed my later read and I just must report it that as Joseph Smith was not understanding and not comprehending the gospel of Jesus Christ. We would like to comprehend. So what can we do? Can we find the scriptures an important scripture? Um, Transfiguration of Jesus Christ story spoke the day Jesus Christ was converting with Super Elohim and Super Yahweh and Mount Transfiguration about their great ascension that Jesus Christ was at that time about to accomplish 1,900, let's say 83 years ago, Jesus Christ was ascended to heaven. That's a marvelous event. It was reportedly on some land that was first of the uh, mornings in the week, first morning in the week. Uh, it was on Sabbath, uh, came as uh, night, and in the morning, uh, before the bright morning, just before the sunrise, uh, there was some of light. So there came two mighty angels, uh, according to the report of evangelists, and was uh, uh, disabling the guard of Romans by the might of God. So they were really overwhelming with light and glorious and just told them about the brightness of the sun, and they was disabling the guards of Romans, and they was uh, so it's of uh, throwing the stone from in front of the grave away, and there was uh, opening thereby the, the sepulchre of Joseph of, from Arimathea, and Jesus Christ went out, a resurrected being, and ascend to heaven. Eventually he was not straight to ascending, eventually he spoke to Mary of Magdala, touch me not, for I haven't ascended to Father at uh, that time. So he was not immediately ascending, he first met Mary of Magdala. Mary of Magdala thought that it is gardener, this, uh, this says about Mormon that it is true. The idea of Jesus Christ could at that same time ascend, or for to be uh, light later. Sometimes after the storm that was reportedly in America at the time that Jesus Christ was um, worried, sometimes after that Jesus Christ descended from heaven and appeared, so it could be the same solar as I felt when I felt, same solar morning, but uh, after the earth was turning to Guatemala, where the Book of Mormon was part of the race of Guatemala. And it was named the uh, place of Bountiful Harvest and Lots of Fruits and uh, Bountiful of different sorts of uh, harvest there. Also for dresses, or maybe also Bountiful for houses of wood, bread too. So that's what uh, we have also Muslim Mormons. So I think I'm about to testify that the Pops in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints is the gate uh, for each the person that is baptized in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. So we translate it to heaven's glory, and so I said to heaven, guys, I am of Jesus Christ, I am of Jesus Christ, and I am of Jesus Christ, and the Jesus Christ, the only kingdom of heaven. So how can the Bible say that Jesus Christ is the kingdom of heaven? So how can the Bible say to Joseph Smith, and why did Joseph Smith need to read the Bible before discovering the Book of Mormon? So we had Rick Castle, which is the Abraham Bible, for Rick Castle first, the Roman Catholic Church, 
Greek Catholic Church was disturbed by remorse, the rational orthodoxy was overtaken. The Roman Catholic Church was disturbed by the First and Second World War, especially the Second World War was bombarding in last game. So we're realizing that uh, the Catholic wisdom was taken to England, and from England to Mormons, to America. So um, we were liking them to be the members of the Church of Jesus Christ, because we realized that if we speak about Mormons, we see all those seeds of Mormons, that they just wars, like Wild West wars. Uh, in town, Joseph Smith, these different sorts of uh, wars, uh, such as minor wars, like civil war. Then, uh, with Indian wars, in Mexico, the Mormon battalion that I ever was reading as I became a member in the 70s of the Church of Jesus Christ of Mexico, the Church of the Father's article, the uh, Brigham Young, without any military power, possessed the land of Salt Lake City of Utah, Salt Lake Valley. And then, additionally, I read about Mormon battalion that Brigham Young really needed military to possess the land. So, was sending a uh, great battalion against Mexico City up to Tucson almost, to the level of Tucson. And then, Mormon, Mormon battalion was sent to California. And many others from Mormons with weapons as a military force and also with the little children went across the land, across the Indian flag, organized in Salt Lake City. And cities organized in Olympic Games 2002 was um, actually the best experience. Yeah, I believe that this time it was 21st century, 15 years of 21st century, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 18, and 19. We can't have a century to heaven, so would it help us to partake um, on the vegan food and church meetings? We shall not prohibit any means or some of the commandments are a constraint. And we shall not say what is good for people to eat, what not. But at the same time, Jesus Smith wrote what is good to eat, what is good for belly, what is good for soul, what is good for members of the church, and what is not. So, Word of Wisdom is actually saying what is good, what is not good, what to eat, what to drink. And um, we realized that yeah, in the church there's absolute commandment that we call so no beer, nor alcohol, custard. Uh, nor alcohol cake, nor alcohol tart, nor alcohol falling. So the chocolates with alcohol not to be served. So that is the command. I agree with the alcohol farm, with our tea, with our coffee, fine. I was a little that's fine. I would like at all times to only go to visit foods. So I found myself in such a situation that Mormons, even one of the members of the church, which is guys that I was saying, or all the written members that are dead. And they were conspiring against me, and they somehow, somehow was passing hot drinks at the church meeting to me, and they was naming hot juice. And I was not understanding, I said it's warm juice, this was a church meeting. So I was drinking warm juice, and then they came up to me and said, this juice is hot. <laughs> so I was uh, catching it and drinking hot. But in other places, I didn't have any food and drink, and I went to a, a church that is non members of the Church of Jesus Christ, the Eleventh Day Church, and they were serving tea. And I didn't know, I said it's a fruit drink. And there was such a great lemon picture on the bottle. Or maybe uh, just reporting that it's a fruit drink, and it was tea, and I was not feeling pleased that I was drinking tea. So mostly I was knowing. Um, after I, I after, I, after I was drinking, there was definitely sometimes I was at the beginning of the church and I was receiving calling uh, as I was in 20 the rescue brigade of some of home office and I was uh, commander, cooperative, uh, instructor in the basic and regulator of traffic and I had such a uh, rifle, the automatic rifle <laughs> and I could receive also three pieces of ammunition in one uh, as it was yeah, at a place where it was training. Uh, to shoot from automatic rifles, and I received three pieces of ammunition only. Three shots I had, and that was all in nine months. <coughs> and I think that two was also uh, touching the target, and one was unidentified, but it was not identified. And I think that one was even straight to the middle, and one was somewhere next to the middle, and, uh, and the other was not found. But it was quite far a target, it was a very small target. So I think I was successful. Seventh uh, Christmas Brigade, and there was some that was giving us tea, and I didn't know how much to give because I was only one year member, and I remember the uh, the Mormons. 
I was already an elder, and it, um, I was member only for one year and a few months, and uh, they was uh, judging me that I am a military officer, and they was uh, judging me that I received my free um, dentistry uh, there, and the military had a free dentist, and he was doing quite good work with my teeth, and, and I was permission, so I was applying permission, so I was actually missionary and the Mormons moved against me into those barracks and they arranged that sort of plot against me and they were selected me for 24 hours into jail, military jail. It was so terrifying. I thought myself, what is after American terror that we have in Europe Union? They, in Germany there are many American soldiers and in Italy American soldiers and they even withdrawn from Iraq and from Afghanistan but it's still terrorizing us in Europe that I uh, a fresh member in the Church of Jesus Christ of Dallas Saints went to dentist and for that I accepted a medication as a dentist. Uh, I was uh, disqualified and I received uh, 24 hours of jail for that. That was really happening by person hinkling most of the files. And uh, what can I do? Uh, I think I, uh, this event and other happening was happening to me. I can forgive. I may be um, by the authority of the Holy Order of Santa and the Jesus Christ will forgive me and I will look forward to Jesus Christ will forgive me and that I might ascend to heaven to do as I am always 33 years of age and Jesus Christ will stand face 33 to higher heaven and that I might receive forgiveness um, for myself. I will also do my best to equalize. And so we have the ten terms of great of wisdom to partake only in the most amount of those that are pleased to the sight of God and good to the sight of God and for thanksgiving. But also, first I came to church, uh, missionaries there, and then those families that was helping me to get a membership, uh, they was giving us flesh to eat, so I didn't know how not to eat flesh, because there was like children there, and par with parents that eat flesh, uh, except they had special gifts to beg them in a family where they eat flesh, but most of the children are united with the families that eat flesh, uh, my parents also love to eat flesh. But then, uh, that I was long time in church, I received special gifts, and I was visiting in Sega. For four years, Sega made up better without chocolate. That's just quite mild. But I cannot say that I was very appreciated. Um, I went to Canada at that time, and I was also treated as a in person, also a Slovak citizen, a Slovak art, um, a North Baltic State organization, a European Union. Nevertheless, I was the same. And I was taken there in detention center for a week of three nights in, uh, in Calgary. I was three nights, four nights in a uh, remain center. And I was really terrified. Here. So I was thinking, how can I get uh, forgiveness? So we're looking forward to ask for forgiveness, to move forgiveness, and what can help us? Uh, it can help us to keep the weight of wisdom and to ascend to heaven and it's the equal time. So we know that those American Mormons like Thomas Petzimos and Henry Benier and Edith Peter, they are very iniquitous persons. They have iniquity by money, by war, by economical rules that they are ruling in banking and markets, they set in prices and rules uh, in courts of justice. I was trying to appeal against some of the actions of the state president um, and bishop, and I was asking the police to uh, report criminal acts and they were criminalizing or that they were dismissing from church without real cows. And there was also um, cows in other difficulties in my employment and uh, in, uh, in, in, in my home, allegations at school. And so I actually was, uh, was asking that there would be justice, you know, justice seeking about the matter that uh, basic human rights is involved. The Mormons cannot just do anything to anyone. That I'm really faithful disciple of Supreme Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, I need to be treated as more important in the country as any Joseph Smith or any Brigham Young or any uh, Gordon Richard Hinckley or, or any uh, Thomas Spencer Muslim. They are really a trivial person to me. Um, and I believe in Jesus Christ, therefore I need to be as as if Jesus Christ appeared. So the people will lay down before me and bow their heads, face the ground, will ask for forgiveness. That's how it's going to be. And if not as much, but at least that I'll commit it a proper house um, or palace and a proper currency. Uh, so that it needs to be really. Uh, so this video is actually for people to believe in Jesus Christ. We dedicate it to Supreme Lord and Supreme Lord and their most glorious disciples by the authority of the Holy Order of the Son of God, Lord Jesus Christ, and in the name of Jesus Christ, Master of Me, from Vasha Eva.
Yeah. It may ascend. From now on, they may have many ascents. In 144,000 of Israel to ascend to the highest heaven. From now on, they can bring the 12,000 for Ephraim and try to associate with Ephraim as first, last, last, first. And 12,000 for Judah and try to associate with Judah as uh, now Judah is to be follower of Ephraim. So uh, Judah is already in the Canaan again in Palestine. And Ephraim also there in the form of Christianity in the Brigham University, just at the Mount Scopus next to Mount Scholid. We ought to look forward to share wealth, to have the quality. I see a balance uh, or any marriage vehicles or any fans by phone. So I'm working on quality, so I need to have as prime minister or as president of America or as president of the union because I need to deal with people that are, for instance, uh, in Rolla Kutu Justice, Internal Security Justice, and they are pretty different people, and they are setting for themselves very well, and they're judging others that are not, and then we need to get the equity, equality, so we need to say that the majesties of justice need to first uh, think that they need to be really just and equal, equal those, and then first they can accept such calling as uh, as being from the Council of Justice. Uh, so now I'm receiving messages that the role of Council of Justice in Great Britain and the National Council of Justice now that they have fled. And such was can anyone have. So that please also make sure for Council of Justice that anyone have really, because I'm asking to have not only fled but also house, so I can deal with such as uh, Royal Highnesses that they have great policy and all the honor of the Council of Justice, right? So I'm at the moment, what you've done, of course. That's very low, under the level of the ocean as it's come water up. So uh, I'm actually lower ground floor in the top floor, lower ground floor. And there's near harbor where really salty water from ocean is getting uh, from the direction uh, that it's kind of warm. There's also some kind of salty water coming up. Up to that place where uh, maybe up to um, things that are controlled so higher. Not, but uh, maybe up there. Sometimes. Which one? So we're now getting the like, knowledge about London, how high the ocean is getting here. Um, if the water is up in the ocean, sometimes up, sometimes down, maybe you have 12 hours about. So we are looking, like 8 hours. So we're now looking to forward to have um, the quality of the house of happiness, which is the second time already among us. That's to be said between heaven and earth and heaven. I for instance have black suits, I left in white. I could not get that because the prices of white suits are high. Uh, I left in white asher. This one is already quite over two years of what's um, called it. And I cannot buy a shirt because the uh, price for food and for those uh, primary activities like getting to church or getting to church there where am I expected and uh, where I might be receiving instead of the, uh, getting somewhere where I might uh, be dismissed. So that's why you need to be very careful there. The free agents are followed. I'm so a citizen so much, but we are in Europe Union. I mean, uh, Europe Union president shall be involved with uh, international police forces in Europe Union and so be sure that also United uh, Kingdom police forces are not uh, governed just anyhow, but we need to be really uh, comprised in or comprehended with the European ratifications the United Kingdom of Great Britain and England that is ratified the human rights movement. So if I'm home in England, I need to be committed, or in London, if I'm home in London and I have my home in Westminster, I need to be committed to that church that is closest to my homes. Regardless of what the local church president thinking, because they can individually think themselves they are outside Christ, and they are still Archbishop of London, or they can think themselves that they are atheists, and they still are bishops, and that's not a requisite to believe in an bishop, or to believe in any state president, or to believe in seventy, but it is important to believe in Jesus Christ, and then also the ratification of this country, uh, so if there's a matter that they themselves personally was very hungry and they was on the road with their children and there was a, a cherry tree uh, just behind the fence and then the whole family get it out of because they didn't have any money nor any, uh, you know, only, only they had some more money and they didn't have food and there was no restaurant nearby and or they didn't have any oil in the car and they were stranded and there was a cherry tree and they were hungry so they had from cherry tree 
So Prince of Wales was forgiving them. Yeah, they, they had chairs from behind the band because it was, uh, branches was all over the band and there was a sack there for the branches and chairs. There was climbing the bands and and they went on a tree and there was eventually getting also on the branch. Uh, there was uh, behind the band, so some branches was over the band some, and then they was having eating. So the Prince of Wales said, I'm giving them because they were struggling or because they didn't have much money for food or because uh, there was a situation there when they was hungry and they needed to have some food and there was food there so God was forgiving them, uh, hopefully. Hopefully nobody will go police in that situation. But if I want to ask for to sit in church and I live in Westminster and the same person is instructing local security uh, to do a sacrifice from church, always they come to church. So that's already um, a criminal act. And if I was called police, they're supposed to say, yes, we're recording a criminal act and uh, we can handle it for a court of justice with them, but they will need to pay real insurance or they'll need to face a course of justice, also jail. So we know the President also uh, international course of justice facing a jail and also uh, the local state prison facing jail because it is not acceptable that they, uh, let's say, 100 times uh, sacking someone from church or 200 times sacking someone from church. Uh, if, that is, if that church is in Europe Union and if the person is home, and the home is registered in Westminster, in London, or in the local nearest church, you need to accept the person to uh, the church, or they're committing gross misconduct, and that is the, it's against the integrity of the soul, and it is also against uh, some other important charge of human rights. I was thinking that first the human rights is about, in Europe Union, charge of human rights, that first human rights is about the integrity, so that's maybe the third or fourth, well, I'll check the, once more the Human Rights Charter in your opinion, but I'm sure the first one is that the soul needs to be honored and the soul needs to be granted some uh, sort of basic recognition that the soul is of worth, or the soul is of God. The alternative or equivalent in humanity, as we know, the European Parliament, they are not all Christian, they are multi religious, so they are sort of humanists. Uh, so that hopefully the Christian labor will be even better on us because if they are humanists, there's like sort of a band of homosexual and lesbians in a parliament and uh, of homosexuals in parliament and they are handled by any Mormons from Utah and the military that is in Germany and in Italy. It seems to be really so that it's a sort of uh, bandit in parliament so far. So we need to ask the international culture justice to take it really um, with the great importance, or a first importance, to help the European Parliament to not be just as a band, a group of homosexuals and lesbians in the Parliament that are handled by more than military force, uh, that are Navy, Army and Air Force, somewhere in Frankfurt, and in Italy, and in Germany, and Yugoslavia, and Greece, and Turkey. But the uh, European Parliament will really recognize themselves as Christians that are of worth to um, making sure the European citizens are protected from some American bandits that are named Mormons and they have the authority of Jesus Christ not because they first have it and they just some ordinances and then they are dead in the graves like if there was not God, like if there was never believing, like if there was any atheist. So such we know that they suffered second death. Because in order to think he first had the fullness and then he died because he was doing sins, so that first he was saved, that was the first death, and then Gordon Hinckley is dead with the second death, and he in the cemetery, but also physical death, the decomposition. So we know that Jesus Christ was not dead for long, so he was the second death of Jesus Christ. It was only for a few hours, the translation of Jesus Christ was very small. In the name of Jesus Christ, because we all are in the name of Jesus Christ, we know they are in the small organization. So all those that are as Jesus Christ, as the most important, all those in Jesus Christ who trust in Jesus Christ, they didn't even need to die. You know, he was just walking until he was 365, or he was using any sheep uh, or carriage as a transport, until he was 365. And as he was 365, he was not worried, not dead, because he wanted something else and was believing this guy, so this guy's transfer for his free agency. And, uh, you know, I said to heaven and to an eye without the need to be 
that effect of life. I also believe that he felt that idea that Jesus he was actually perfect, so he didn't come in the end, but he wanted to die, so he was found dead, and he wanted to uh, be in grave for about 23 hours, so Jesus Christ was laid there, like he did without breath, like he did without heart rate, and he had said to have him still at 34 years of age. And more definitely, I also have an eye mouth before, I would like to have a sense of heaven to come back, so I uh, would like to skip this, uh, this sort of uh, crucifixion and burial of Jesus Christ. On this way, that I just ask Jesus Christ, Supreme Lord, Supreme Yahweh, you are, or Jesus Christ, so are you, Supreme Lord, so are you. Uh, so I see my infinite and eternal forgiveness for my trespasses and accepted now to high heaven from the sins of this world. For if I stay here on earth for any hour or two hours or so, 24 hours longer, I need to have access to wealth. But then, uh, as I'm married or not, or in Salt Lake Town or in any other place, a long wedding, I actually wish to only go on children. But yeah, also this weekend of night, while well, I'm still most vital to ascend and most beautiful and most young to ascend to high heaven. So that's why we uh, pray in the name of Supreme Jesus Christ, and by the Lord and Jesus Christ, our Master. I now ascend in the presence of the elements of high heaven. Uh, something more, what can we do with the European Parliament? Well, we can persuade uh, international groups of justice that these homosexuals, bisexuals, and lesbians, uh, or the others that name themselves European Parliament, and are handled by Mormon uh, terrorists that are with the American president protesting uh, Germany and Italy and also Greece and any other place, uh, then international groups of justice and hard will urge the European Parliament to bother that Americans are not trespass against human rights in churches and also in other places so yeah, European citizens will feel welcome like children of God uh, to uh, come to church where they're registered that is closest to their home, not in the Chicago they are I from Westminster, London need to travel to someone to easily go on or to angels and go on and to ascend church somewhere there or somewhere further. Also regarding races, the white people don't need to have bishops or presidents that are African. That shall be also so that if Africans want to have their African leadership in Africa, they shall be permitted. But in Europe Union, if any white person, European white, and has blue eyes or green eyes or brown eyes or black eyes, but it's a white, blonde, or uh, recognized each and white person, and likes to have white leader, so we shall permit uh, that person to have white leader, and so not oppress uh, by the racism that needs to be under race over there, that needs to live in other race. So that shall be also sure that we are not just passing against racism in Africa, like French, France, they are a European country, and they are aspiring Masters in Ivory Coast as European country to the uh, Ivory Coast and a military place where they had uh, storage of ammunition, warehouse, and the ammunition was exploding and it was maybe killing uh, two persons somewhere in Ivory Coast or a number of persons that we don't know how many. So it's happened sometimes since the European Union is organized. So since the 1950s, but it's been uh, happening, I think it was 2010. But some say 2011, some say 2012, the Ivory Coast was attacked. I remember that the European Union was also attacking in Libya, that are not a European country, and also in Iraq and Afghanistan, since the European Union. So we think that uh, the person should not just was against us races, against Arabs, against Mohammedans, uh, Asians, or, or Africans, or communists as in Libya and Africa. Ivory Coast, as they are among Christians in Africa, but also not against white people, that we should not harass uh, those that are European citizens in European Union and now becoming races like Chinese or Hindus or Afros and willing to preside over uh, the white people. That is also not. So I need to be in every company set it there. One manager is for African affairs, but if I, as white, am in a company like in Apple Store or in the Church of Jesus Christ, let us say, or Kingdom of Heaven or Earth, that by the law of the European, there will be um, a line leadership, a line management, also white. And if they have also Africans, they want to also need to be uh, equal ties, also need to have salary as the other managers, also African. But for instance, the director of the company is African, and receive, uh, let's say, Apple Store, the director of the store will be um, 
Africa and he'll have 50,000 per week because he's the executive director of the store. But uh, because he's African and European, he needs to pay extra uh, management director for affairs of Europeans. Uh, and then it also received 50,000. So the same if, uh, let's say, Apple Store elsewhere, we have a white uh, president, but a, a white uh, director or executive director of the store. And they will have some South Africans, so they will uh, need to uh, ask that there will be one more um, managing director in Africa and they receive the same 50,000 per week as well. So they will know that I will not hate you, I'm not racist, but I see racism in high places, I see the wickedness and darkness in the high places, and therefore I, as a white person or as a person that speaks to be white as Jesus Christ and have very close to white men of Jesus Christ in heaven. Uh, because we are a Christian family, it's not only for a thousand years, but it's already 1,500 years that yeah, my forefathers were Christians. And uh, we are devils just Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ was another thousand years on earth, he was also so white. And he's really thousand years here, he's still whiter. That's what we're looking forward to. We might have repentance from Joseph Smith, and Joseph Smith doesn't look as white, looks like like sort of mumia, uh, like sort of uh, decomposed dead. And, and, the dress maybe not the same there anymore, and the bones maybe not more white, because uh, Joseph was testified so greatly that he was having also first death and also second death. So we looking forward that we might have uh, together with Jesus Christ and such a close experience that we might repent from Joseph Smith's sins and from his Mormon wars and general Mormon wars. And that we might be those members of the Church of Jesus Christ as well as saying that they are really uh, helping uh, those in other faiths to keep that the glory of Ascension, yeah. of peace, of Ascension, yeah. uh, uh, by giving the word of wisdom and farming, a mega farming. You so know that if President Thomas Nancy Mosin, as uh, evil, iniquitous Mormon, uh, wants to kill animals to eat them like in Stone Age, and the consequence is uh, that yeah, um, Afghanistan forces are destroyed to America, but after they are killing very many people, but President Mosin was such a pressure. Pressing, pressing uh, that we were nerves and also beef and pork and so on. So President Thomas was one of the and if you don't know what pressing means, pressing is that person that was in Fresno <laughs> in California and I was pressing beef and pork and chicken and turkey as well as beef. So that's it, I'm forgiving President Mons and then he's pressing. And I'm wishing the President Monson that you repent and restitute. And yeah, we might have a sense of heaven this time. Also, President Monson, we can ascend. And I believe that as soon as we ascend, also such a deadly sinners as Gordon Victor Hinckley and Howard W. Hunter, uh, as well as uh, E.T. Benson, but S. E. Top Benson, and uh, Joseph S. Brigham and John Taylor, that they also can repent and restitute. And, Ascend to heaven. So this is what we do in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and forgive my mother. Recently, I was, as I mentioned, stuck from Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints local, local many times, even as much, but as I wanted anyways, the church, they was uh, even wrestling me and was sort of shocking me, disgusting me so, to have, um, to be sort of, you know, sort of being dangerous by wrestling squeeze. And, uh, and then I discovered that there is a Slovak speaking branch somewhere, or discovered, uh, since last year, and I discovered Sheffield. So I went over to Sheffield, because they were be kinder to me, and they were really so much kinder, and they were permitting me also to sit on stage, and at a meeting, and uh, only what was so uncomfortable with me, there is a Slovak speaking branch, but it's attended mostly by the Indians. So uh, there's about 60% of Indians that lived, that, that lived somewhere in Czechoslovakia for 500 years and was Christian, was not Catholic, but they're looking at Indians. So I was thinking to myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. why as many, but it's only speaking, Slovak speaking, only Slovak speaking branch in the United Kingdom. And in the United Kingdom, there's about 20,000 or 30,000 of white Slovaks. 
Almost 10,000 of such viruses in the uh, white chat. Um, so there's uh, many of those Indians. Slovaks, they name themselves Roms, so they have separate language. And in the Slovak speaking branch, they are majority, in as much the president of the branch is also Rom in the uh, is not from American Indians, but from those uh, Nili Indians that are in, uh, between rivers, Hindus and Gangas. And they came while the Ottoman Empire occupation in 1700s. Uh, they came approximately at that time, or some of them maybe in uh, 1600 or 1500, as, uh, as Ottomans or those caliphs of Islamic faith was occupying the Slovak Republic and was really fighting very many Slovaks were killed and many Indians came uh, from India and they're still there uh, occupying the land. So I hope that, it's, uh, that we might have Slovak speaking branches in England that are Slovaks, the first of Slovaks. I myself was living on the Muta mission. So I'm looking forward to that because I love Jesus Christ and that in the Church of Jesus Christ you will recognize me as president that I might receive also a certificate in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints uh, as a president and that I might be elected on the general board above the general board so I might be founder of the Supreme Board of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and might have ascended to heaven. Well, mainly it's ascended to heaven now. <laughs> it's only if I stay for some of the longer, like an hour or 25 hours. Uh, so I'll appreciate that phone call that I'm going to be in one living room flat somewhere in Low Grandpool next to the river Moses, uh, next to uh, the harbor of the river Moses. Yeah, it is flat is sometimes even on the level of those also. So uh, that's what uh, I thought it might now have me elected so I can have a house and I can work in that house and also in my office in beautiful, that it might have quality, that it might have set the rotation system in the church. The normal might live in a flat for longer than half a year, but if longer than half a year, uh, not, not longer than half a year in a basement flat. So, so if I was sentenced to 10 years in a flat for some reason, uh, but the next thing is I should in a house. Uh, so a whole house would be for me and for my wife, or for me to get wife. Um, and the answer would be shall have that I'm already 24 I'm asking to marry since I was approximately a child in kindergarten and I was married a woman and um, we had different forms of asking and maybe that was not uh, most glorious because uh, we was uh, having communism and socialism. But I think also communism some of the glorious they asked me. So I was at that time uh, just getting the glory and, and the parents died and I was still not that uh, not that high, and yet I'm a critical pillar. But I hope that someone to the literature written uh, is similar. That was a uh, cover story of New York 2007. Um, the New York magazine, in Church of Jesus Christ, yeah. since uh, October 2007, the literature has been a cover story. Someone to whom she is similar, someone younger, maybe. Yeah. I remember once I was in Brasov Branch in 2003, and there was such a beautiful fan of McDonald's. And I was working as a crew in a McDonald's restaurant, and I needed to serve coffee and tea and, and beer. There was not a selling at the restaurant, but coffee and tea I needed to always serve and eat the chicken. And I was sometimes sad that I uh, was serving a mission, and I received certificate of service my mission president, and my president Hinkley, I received a calling, and that was less than a year ago. In McDonald's, and they kept such a beautiful American McDonald's family, such a beautiful young daughter, she was only seven years old, eight or eight, and now she's 20, so maybe they, they would like to find me. Three, it's pretty. 11 years, uh, 18, uh, 19. So maybe she would like to come. So if she would like to come, get this video to her. But I'm absolutely excited about the beauty of her father and mother. And I don't remember how she now looks like. I, I actually remember only she was a, a child, about 8. So now she's 19 and I'm 34. So we can have one of the weddings, maybe in Solid Temple. And if her father, as a father, uh, is maybe state president. So I'll have more people to stay <laughs> than I was saying. In the last few years, there was most of us here. So uh, hopefully, um, I faithful elder remote. Well, yeah, I'll be here. I will be accepted to family at McDonald's as a glorious husband man. So I love you. Thank you. And 
that we have a book of our musical uh, by President Mozart. So President Mozart did these very many wars, and was still many people, and atheism, and agnosticism, and antichrist, and different sorts of things, bad things he was doing, and science, and was still his life. And President Johnson Mozart, with fullness of the authority of the Holy Order of Supreme Jesus Christ, is now since 2013 buried in the cemetery, dead. Like a mummy. Because it's the Anand, they say that's a mummy. <laughs> so that's the original mummy's art. We're in a cemetery. And I just want to remember what I have. But this Mozart, he owes something good. He plays families to center up away from the London. <laughs> And Family yeah. Center is now in Kew Gardens. I will say that it's still long, but it's just summer in 7th or 10th zone. 6th zone. 6th zone in Kew Gardens, the National Archives, Family Center, which is in 6th grade, level thing. We have also some Family Center in the other states. So actually, um, in this state, some part in zone. So seven or six, they are from Mr. Sanders. So I actually could not earn earners my family history very far only three generations from father's side and um, eleven generations from the father's side. I was having general help of my aunt and so I just said the police finally organized the family history and they organized but my father's side was almost three generations. Because the Slovak the, the Slovak place is such uh, sort of uh, Without temples, without states, without wars, there are only a few branches, not even mission. They only are sort of admitted to the Czech practice. So, Slovaks, it was, uh, for me, it was impossible to earn anything, absolutely no money. The Slovak government said that I, a Mormon, can't have any money. So, I'm not a Mormon, I'm actually Supreme Apostle, so maybe later I get that wealth to organize family history, cost something. I sometimes had a feeling that if I give 10 pounds to any missionary sister as such secret sort of uh, salary, 10 pounds for two weeks, and they maybe organize uh, my family history. But if I marry a sister McDonald, the Hannah McDonald, hopefully she'll be interested in trusting. So um, if they have very soon, uh, hopefully parents will take her to me, or she's already 19, so she can take a flight to London and to find me and turn to God. Because I am at home, uh, so every kindest person like Hannah McDonald can uh, come at the morning. I'm mostly there until approximately almost every morning. And almost every evening, it's easy to get there. Uh, just uh, pressing uh, council 20 to call at the gate, and I'm on telephone. Or uh, if I'm not on telephone, she can wait until somebody is passing and say that she's coming to meet her. So if I'm passing, or I have such a beautiful large name, like the Church of Jesus Christ, right. and uh, me as Elder Bhakshay will also mention it in fact, so it's easy to find. And there's such a letter space. Where she can post the card that she was visiting me, or she can call me on 075051. So that's what we have as well. And now, the first and most was organizing um, in London also a um, musical. It's named the Book of Mormon Musical. So we begin in first and We're hoping the first and most will complete the also regarding other subjects. Book of Mormon Musical, Gavin Hill acting Elder Price recently. Yes, is still acting Elder Price. In London, in Prince Bell Theatre. So I also will see something. We have such musical times. We have a visit center in High Park, Lord, and we have a center also in London Temple. That's only the center in London. So if anyone that um, that is approximately as or any such beautiful elders too, or high priests or seventies, I have um, one living room, and I have also bed seats. Uh, to be set easily in, a, in the other room, so I can stay in the other room, and the living room can be um, in London available to any member of the Jesus Christ lesson, but it's actually most beautiful. Uh, please, I'm not racist, but I would like to live together with European looking people, so uh, racism there's both ways, so we need to protect also Africans from too much terror, also Chinese from too much terror, and also white people, so familiar with white people or with Jesus Christ, we have that to the young life. So we might not harass white people with Africans or with Chinese, uh, they would like to live with Europeans even now, but uh, by some sort of racism of others, there is option only Africans, that's so really not. You can marry someone who's white if you want to marry white, but especially preferably um, if the white may marry white. I'm going to find all white Africans, so there's no white for me. <laughs> 
that um, that reminds me a say from humor and from laughter. We selected a hymn. Traditionally, um, there is um, by the motives or on motives uh, from the scriptures. Moment, I just remember that it's the gospel of the Bible. This is some gospel of Saint John the Master, chapter 13, verse 8. Yes. Now, a little bit more beautiful. Um, that's uh, verses 33 to 35. Um, also for um, for all those believers in Jesus Christ. As I have I I actually would like to say that uh, we have some um, some church contention so until we get there she yes, yes, I was gonna say it in course of justice. Uh, or maybe uh, once more outside <laughs> before uh, uploading. So now we would like to see um, from the Bible, from New Testament, Gospel of Saint John the Evangelist, chapter 13, uh, verses. Now we have Easter Manly, <laughs> Easter Manly, so that um, Easter sort of second. Second morning, since this guy was writing at Easter, and his name uh, Manly in English, the letter or British News, I force me to withdraw from Hamburg because <laughs> they still occupy the European Union. So we have here, uh, Queen Elizabeth II saying the Hamburgers still will be angered by military and forces of Great Britain around Hamburg in Germany because the European Union will not have peace by Britain until all the generation of Second World War. So now we like to sing here. So we have here a book of our musical. We like to sing with support, so we can sing right. Uh, and that's um, that's also in uh, the hymn book of the Church of Jesus Christ. Let us say one of the hymn books, one of the hymns there. The most U.S. hymn book is already in there. Including. As I have is near commandment, love was and love. Thy peace will never be seen. If you have love, why do I know? To me, to say that all those who live in Utah and are Mormons are terrorists, they also attest against my singing. I was uh, singing in the Hyper stick wire, hyper, hyper work wire, and I was uh, really assessed by a local bishop. Uh, there was calling police, and without cows, without any cows, uh, they were swearing at me with police, military force, and they were asking to leave there. And they was doing differences of false accusations and false witnessing. And that bishop was then consequently, within years, um, sent somewhere to, uh, well, I'm speaking where he was sent somewhere to Singapore. <laughs> And there came a new bishop, uh, but he was actually his friend at that time, and said, I even wear situation as before, and a state prison the same, and even worse situation as before, uh, also by security. So I actually uh, am here in Harrisman, and what I realized that uh, the Queen also has a second seat, actually, so it's one hand with Mormons in America, and the British Parliament also are not at the moment very much to react, because I was asking. Uh, police to help me. They said the uh, church is right. I am only one member of church. They are the government of the church. And then, as I was asking European, they was not even reacting. Uh, that there are sort of gays, homosexual, lesbians, and they actually doesn't really uh, have that humanity to help anybody to church. So we need to find out if it is in a European human right to attend the church, freedom of religion, uh, freedom of uh, attendance, closest church. Uh, that is uh, having meetings for church members. Uh, so that's uh, in zone seven. That's number seven. Five yeah. in zone one. There is one uh, church also first summer in NW, or no, summer in Easter, Easter in London. So this is London there is. So I myself personally would like to live in Salt Lake City in Utah, but I was detained from United America by the conservation of American prison with those crazy Mormons those uh, terrorists and, and those uh, was with uh, 
mid months or some aspects of months, the uh, government technically they establish uh, as pirates uh, in a church with the authority of Jesus Christ, using the name of Jesus Christ in vain, uh, protesting against all those who would like to ascend to heaven, harassing uh, armies and air forces and navies also in Europe that any relation can actually have attention until now. And Vatican is also surrounded by American and British militaries. So we are looking forward that we might have changed, that we might have uh, ascension to heaven and the European Parliament will do something more for human rights as Mormons are doing lots of harassment in the European Union. And maybe also by this gays and lesbians of the European Union Parliament that they are also, as the European was doing different sorts of military assessments around the European Union. So we hope that they will defend it, they will believe rather in Jesus Christ's humanity, Jesus Christ's last sacrifice, uh, last blood sacrifice, Lamb of God, don't need to be any more sacrificed, nor blood should to be. We just need to forgive one another as Jesus Christ was uh, praying on some man. That's for all reason. And for those who believe in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is infinite and eternal, can forgive us, just ask for forgiveness, don't need to uh, use any Mormon uh, general wars against other countries uh, because uh, even pagans are easy to understand that if Jesus Christ last sacrifice, going to war, and we can have. Let's say every country can have one quadrillion dollar budget, national budget for a year, uh, so everybody can have lots of money, lots of credits, and producing. So producing can be done by children or uh, youth age 12 to 29. So let's say if they are 12, they will lift on some small burdens and help on them for four hours, for 24 hours. And if they are over 18, they can already 8 to 16 hours. At work, if they're staying overnight at work, they can also choose 16 hours of service and they can already pull out according to their ability and risk assessment that they can already produce and lift. And we already have uh, mechanization, so we have machines. So we don't need to have any such poor budget as the United States of America has got or Great Britain. And the other countries are even poorer, and they are poor and they, have, they are hungry and they're going to war. Uh, and uh, we had even American soldiers in Germany and Italy. <laughs> British soldiers, the, the American Mormons still in war against Germany. So that's what we hopefully will not have anymore. American soldiers can return home to America and British soldiers can stay in Great Britain. So I'd like to give you and thank you for that which do good. Bye bye.